Well, hi, everyone. This is Don Smith, and I would like today to, to show you a, kind of a cool way of blending images that were focused at a couple different focus points. And I know this came up. I've just gotten back from my White Sands workshop out in New Mexico. We had a great group of photographers out there, uh, really a knowledgeable bunch. Um, and we had this one evening where we were in the inner dunes area. Um, and kind of the goal was to find some something like these yucca plants to put up against a rising moon. Now, before I get into um, what I want to cover today, I want you to follow the cursor up here and a look at the lens that I was using. And this was the new Sony 100 to 400 millimeter lens, which I absolutely love, just razor sharp. But you can see with this composition, I was shooting at 288 millimeters. Kind of missed my f-stop here. <laughs> Normally, I would work at f16 to f22 range, but at that telephoto, what I was finding is if I was to focus on the yuccas, the moon, even at f13 or f16 or f22, it really didn't matter. Uh, the compression just didn't allow my depth of field to put these foreground yuccas and a moon at infinity into focus. So how do we get around this issue? Well, really, it's kind of easy, and it's just going to involve a little bit of Photoshop, and it may be something you know how to do or don't, but I thought I'd share it with you. So anyway, this is my first frame of the yuccas with the moon rising in the background. You can clearly see the moon's out of focus. And then I simply did a frame where I focused on the moon, and, but everything in the foreground now is out of focus. So how do we do this? Well, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm in Lightroom, and I'm gonna select both images, and I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna come over here to edit and come all the way down here to the bottom where it says Open Layers in Photoshop. So now we'll just let Photoshop open. And it's important in Photoshop that you have your Layers palette open. If it's not open, simply come up here under Window, and you can go to Layers, and it will open up. And you can see that mine is open. There we go. Now I can open it, and I can show you right there. I have a checked mark to open. So anyway, here's my two layers that have opened. If I turn off the top layer, you see I have the sharp layer underneath. And they're all automatically stacked. I don't even have to do that. So what I'm going to do, the top layer is selected. And if I hold down on the Command uh, key on a Mac and click, I will highlight both layers. Then I'm going to come over here to my Edit. And I'm going to come down to auto blend layers. Now this auto blend layers box will open up and I have uh, two choices of blend methods. I can either go with panorama, which is not what I want to do here, or stack images, which is what I want to do in this case. And uh, you can see I've put check marks into the seamless tones and colors and content aware fill if necessary. And I'm going to just simply click OK. And we're going to let this render. And now you can see it has, let's come back over to our layer palette. It has put a layer on top of my two layers. And if I grab my zoom tool and zoom up, you're going to see that indeed my yuccas are in focus and I've got an in focus moon. Okay, so let me drop this back down. We're not done yet. I'm going to come on over here and I'm going to hit Command Shift E, and I'm going to make that a single layer. And now I'm going to come under my layer palette, and I just want to flatten image to turn that into a background image. Now I can treat this file as if I would treat any other file. And those of you that have been following along with my blogs and some of my videos, you know that I'm really excited about the new Luminar Neptune. In fact, if you go on to my website, uh, which is www.donsmithphotography.com and click on the affiliates and discounts link on the homepage, um, you can get 
to buy your own copy of Luminar Neptune. It's currently selling at $69, and I think it's absolute steal for what it can do. I do have uh, choices of many presets down here, but to finish off this image, I think I'm going to do um, a single filter at a time. So the first thing I want to do, I love this filter, is come into my Accent AI filter, AI standing for Artificial Intelligence. And I'm just going to go ahead and tug on this. I don't think I want to go all the way. Well, actually, that doesn't look too bad, does it? You can, you can vary the strength. This is just uh, what you see, what you get filter. I think right about there looks really good. I'm going to click another one here. And because we shot this at dusk, I want to bring back some of that warm uh, dusk light that I was seeing. And we did actually have a little color in the moon that night. So you can see I'm bringing that up a little. And then I'm going to add one more here, which is the foliage enhancer, uh, just to bring out a little bit of the color that I saw in those palm fronds. So when I'm done, I'm going to come on up here to apply. But before I do that, actually, I'm going to show you, I'm going to click this little eyeball. There's a before and an after, just in three easy sliders, you guys. That's how cool this little program is. And I'm going to click apply. And this will go ahead and do some processing and it'll get us back over into Photoshop. Okay, now we're back over into Photoshop and you can see I have the processed file here, but I have a little bit of cleanup work. I'm not real wild about this, these out of focus little branches down here. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna grab my lasso tool and we're just gonna make kind of a rough selection in here. And we're going to try Content Aware Fill and see how good that is at taking those out. I just hit the Delete button. You can also go up under Edit and Fill. And you want to make sure it says Content Aware. Click the OK button. And there we go. It is taking it right out. Now, it's put a little bit of splotchiness in there. But I can take care of that here. Actually, I think I'll just try to Content Aware that one more time. We will just draw a little smaller and let's see how that works. We'll go ahead and, yep, it just matched it right up. So that's pretty cool. Um, I really, really like Content Aware Fill. So if we come back here to the first selection and then come down here after the second selection, you can see that it's cleaned it right up and I'm ready to go and put this out for presentation. So that's a simple way if you have elements um, that are in your foreground that are not going to be focused regardless of the aperture you use with an element like a moon in the background, you can just simply do two focuses and do this um, together in Photoshop. If you're going to try this on a picture where you're going to have to do multiple focus points, something like maybe 10 focus points, then I think it's better if you use a software called Helicon Focus. I don't do that type of focusing much anymore. I, I thought it looked kind of strange, but on certainly like an object like this with the moon and these foreground yuccas, it worked great. So anyway, that's the tip for this month. Um, please check out the rest of the blog below. We've got some great international trips coming up. I'm doing one uh, next June and July with Gary Hart in New Zealand. Our first one sold out in 24 hours and our, we have three, lo three spots opened in our second workshop. So take a look on that link if you're interested. And also, I'm very excited to be doing a workshop with Pierre Steenberg, who is a native of South Africa. And we are teaming up along with another pro who lives in the area, Henning De Beer, and offering a workshop in Namibia. That's going to be next August. Check the link down below. We only have six spots open on that one. We're not going to be offering a second workshop there. So we'd love it if you would join us there. I'm going to be over there next month for two weeks shooting and running all the location and fine tuning everything. And really, really excited about the two international workshops we're offering. We still have a whole bevy of domestic workshops. So check them out. They're all listed below. And until next month, Take care.